Hello and welcome to Thornton 360. I'm Lisa Wilson. We begin with the latest from City Council. Council heard a report from the Thornton Police Department on fireworks enforcement in regards to efforts up through the 4th of July holiday. As in years past, we start about 10 days before the event and go about 10 days after the event where we're out doing enforcement to try to make sure that everybody's enjoying a safe holiday, but we're not doing things that are dangerous uh, or, or causing harm to other people. Staff presented a report on implementing bicycle and pedestrian enhancements to Thornton's infrastructure network to make biking and walking safer throughout the city. Each year, the city undergoes a comprehensive financial audit by an outside certified public accountant. The audit is designed to give a general overview of the city's finances. Council was updated on the findings, which resulted in a clean audit. I just want to um, just take a minute to recognize Craig and his team and the entire finance team. They do thousands of transactions a year, and so to have this clean of an audit is pretty awesome. City Council also approved a resolution recognizing June as National Pride Month and to fly the rainbow flag at City Hall. To see the entire Council meeting in high definition, tune to Xfinity Channel 881 or anytime at ThorntonCo.tv. The next City Council meeting is Tuesday, June 29th. You can get more information on that meeting at gocot.net slash council meetings. The 4th of July holiday is fast approaching. While we all have a lot to celebrate, personal use of fireworks is illegal in the city of Thornton. We'd like to remind you that all fireworks are illegal in the city of Thornton. You may not know that somebody living in your neighborhood has extreme issues with fireworks being lit off near their home. Thornton heard from veterans and veterans groups about the difficulties fireworks being lit off in neighborhoods caused to these veterans. Yeah, a lot of these veterans were POWs and uh, in combat to the point where uh, anything will trigger them. I, I'd like everybody to respect uh, the, the, uh, veterans during this uh, c coming holiday of 4th of July and uh, just be respectful, be good to uh, your fellow veteran residents. Pet owners also know all too well the problems fireworks can cause for their pets. These dogs are my family. It hurts me and breaks my heart when I can't do anything for them. They just get totally freaked out. They run around, they, they you know, try to find a place to hide and they can't do it. And I know other people's dogs have hard times too with the fireworks. All I'm asking is that you be respectful of pets and the people in your community because some of them don't care for all the booms and everything also. So we're asking you, please be thoughtful and not light off fireworks in neighborhoods in Thornton this year. Visit thorntonco.gov for information on Thornton's 4th of July holiday celebration. Some aspects of it have changed, so be sure to check the website before you go. Thornton Fire and its pandemic response team were recently recognized by the Congressional Fire Services Institute. They were recognized for innovations in the delivery of emergency medical services. It's a result of Thornton Fire's COVID-19 testing and vaccination efforts. The Congressional Fire Services Institute is a nonprofit, nonpartisan policy institute. Thank you, thank you, you guys are the best. The Alliance Alianza Business Center is open to help Thornton businesses thrive. The council and I have a great interest in making sure that businesses of all sizes succeed in Thornton. We believe that this center and the work happening here is so important. It's not just the right thing to do, but it's important economically as well. One, two, three. The center at 550 East Thornton Parkway held its grand opening recently with a day of community fun. The center offers free small business assistance in both English and Spanish for startups and existing Thornton business owners. Thornton has over 140 miles of trails and over 2,500 acres of parks and public areas for residents to enjoy. However, these landscapes do require a lot of water, so Thornton has started Naturally Thornton, an H2 overhaul program.
You know, Thornton's water customers are some of the most efficient in the metro region. And what Naturally Thornton does is it has the city joining our customers in that partnership. We've been asking our customers for years to conserve water and they've responded amazingly. And so our customers have been great partners in our demand management strategy and they've done that through their own conservation ethic that they've adopted. The second tool is that we want to make sure that it is a water utility our systems are as efficient as possible. So we wanna make sure that when we have a leaking pipe, we get out there and fix it as quickly as possible. We can use leak detection to try to identify leaks before they come to the surface. And then naturally Thornton is really our third strategy. And what we wanna do through this program is we want to lead by example and really join our partners in the community, our water customers, by converting a lot of our parks into more water-wise landscapes. Now, the Thornton Parks have over 600 acres of turf to irrigate. A lot of that turf gets used for sports and for picnics. Some of the turf never gets a bare foot set on it. And so what we're doing through Naturally Thornton is we're trying to identify the appropriate landscape for the use that is being enjoyed. We want to be able to walk our talk and we want to be able to model these landscape transformations so that as a community, we can build kind of a more resilient landscape that is better adapted to the Colorado environment and can help us not just withstand droughts, but can kind of help us withstand some of the pressures that we'll be feeling as the region continues to get hotter and drier. So in uh, the city of Thornton, we have about 600 acres of bluegrass turf, and that requires a lot of water, especially in our high arid desert environment that we live in. And with climate change, we have had a noticeable drying up of the environment. Winds are a little bit hotter, uh, days are a little bit hotter, and uh, water usage is only increasing. So to combat that, we have created the Naturally Thornton plan to take some of that bluegrass turf out of our system and replace it with native, uh, native grasses. Native grasses take half to a third the amount of water necessary to keep bluegrass active and healthy. So by simply reducing the amount of turf grass that we have and turning it into an attractive, sustainable landscape, we can reduce by 50% the amount of water that we use in parks. For more information on this process, please go to gocot.net slash naturally Thornton. Thornton outdoor pools are open for the summer. For pool hours, visit thorntonparks.com. If you're headed to Thornton's city pool off of Thornton Parkway, you will see a fabulous splash of color in the form of a new mural. Overall murals just change a space dramatically, especially when they're fun and vibrant for like all ages. I love painting really big murals and I like to mix different mediums with the spray paint and the uh, exterior house paint. Uh, it kind of just gives it a little bit more of a unique look. Anything aquatic, any sea life, I just really enjoy painting. Um, so it was a perfect fit. Um, and I know because of that, the work's gonna come out much better and look really cool for everyone to enjoy. Uh, a lot of my work, I like to tell stories. So some of these creatures and animals are gonna be doing different things that are humanistic aspects. So uh, for instance, this octopus is gonna be carrying some lanterns in, like guiding people into the pool. Um, it's just a whole new space, something unique. I mean, the slides and everything else here are super vibrant. You need something bright and vibrant and overall playful in the space. I've done pieces throughout Central America, Africa, all over the United States. So to have something so close by um, that I can actually bring my son to in the future, I can check in on it, see it, drive by it. And it's, it's not just my work when I'm done with it, it's the community. So it's part of their own uh, thing that they can take you know, joy and pride in having in their own hometown. Thornton Fest was held recently at Carpenter Park Fields. It was the first big annual festival since COVID-19 restrictions were eased. It was a chance for Thornton residents to get out and enjoy a day of family fun. That's it for this edition of Thornton 360. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.